And that's a good start. Okay, but I'm also, I want to, like I said, I want to look back and celebrate what God did. 102 people signing up to say, yes, sign me up. I will serve God through the local church. But I also want to stir your heart that it's a daily commitment to wake up every morning and say, today I choose to serve God. I've been struck by a trend that is circulating TikTok right now that many of you may have heard on, uh, heard about. It's got 2 million followers on his account and more than 17 million likes on the videos. Uh, the Bones Day. Anyone in here familiar with Bones Day? There's a man by the name of Jonathan Graziano. He has a 13-year-old pug named Noodle. At the beginning of October, every morning, Jonathan would wake up his pug Noodle, her, his, and, and, and he's 13 years old. That's an old dog. Every morning, he would wake up his pug. I think I have a picture of it. And he would stand up Noodle... And if Noodle stood up ready and his, bone, his, his limbs were limber and he was up and awake, then it was a Bones Day. A Bones Day is like time to be productive, time to go accomplish something, time to go make something of your day. But if Noodle just lumped over and fell back to sleep, it was a no Bones Day. And this is being treated like a modern day daily Groundhog Day where Gen Z and even millennials are waking up every morning checking this TikTok account to see what Noodle does. Every day, Jonathan records his pug and if Noodle stands up straight, it's a Bones Day. Go be productive, go make something of your day. If Noodle falls over, it's a no Bones Day. It's your permission to have a treat yourself day. We have had Gen Z, like people have been calling in off of work. Like... Hey, listen, I know I start my shift at 10, but Noodle says it's a no bones day. That means I got to stay home and get my jade roller out. I got to start my foot massager and I'm not going to be into work today. For real. I mean, as if we, whew, I won't even go there. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that we serve a God that doesn't take a no bones day. When he doesn't feel, well, listen, some of us, we serve God when we feel like it. And we, we're like Noodle. Like, we're going to wake up in the morning. Oh, man, I got in. Listen, I got in at 2 a.m. last night from Elevation Worship. It's a good day for a no bones day today. <laughs> Noodle, Noodle gets up and he, he stretches out and sometimes he stays up like this and sometimes he just collapses back. And some of us wake up in the morning, we go, God, I'm just struggling today. God, I need a no bones day. And we serve God if we feel like it. And if our bones stretch out, we get up and we go, okay, God, I'm going to serve you today. Come on, Jesus went to the cross. Are you thankful that he didn't take a no bones day? Come on, he said, God, if there's any other way, I don't want to do this. If there's any other way, take this cup from me. But I know this has to happen. So I'm going to follow through. Jesus going to the cross said, it's a bones day. It's time to make something of my day today. You going to have a bones day or not? I'm glad you signed up for the Dream Team Expo. Some of you need to sign up for different ministries. But it's going to be what happens in the weeks to come. Are you going back to sleep? Go, oh, man. I just got a lot of stuff going on in my family right now. Listen, like half of our worship team went with me to Elevation, and they got in. We got in in the church parking lot at 156 this morning. We need a no bones day today. But this church is too important in the eyes of God to take a no bones day, to not worship God when we don't feel like it. Today's October 31st in 1517. Martin Luther had to make a choice, and he wrote out the 95 Theses. 95 problems with the church that he said something's got to change. Martin Luther had a bones day, and he took those 95 theses. He walked up to the doors of the church, nailed it on the front doors of the church and say, this ends now. And he began the Great Reformation. Come on. Some of us, whoo, we got It's time for a bones day. It's time to do something for God. And I'll just say this as a disclaimer. Grief is real. We've seen a lot of grief in this season. If you, you got to take some time sometimes for your mental health. I get that. But don't let your feelings always dictate what you do. Ezekiel 37, I think of a bones day I read about in the Bible. 
Come on, this is a Bones Day if I ever read one. I don't know. I'm fired up today to talk about a Bones Day to make something of our life for Jesus. Camera people, are y'all keeping up with me? I'm sorry. I'm running around. I'm on the floor. I'm up. I'm all around. I'm keeping everybody guessing. Let's read this together. The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and saw a, I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, son of man, can these bones live? I said, sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Sometimes you just got to tell yourself, hear the word of the Lord. Noodle, noodle, you lazy pug. Noodle, hear the word of the Lord. It's time for a bones day, noodle. Get up. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. And then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound. And the bones, man, if I had the worship team up here, we'd start singing rattle right now. <laughs> there was a rattling sound. I looked and tendons and flesh appeared, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Come, breath from the four winds and breathe into these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood on their feet and had a great church service. Oh, did I read that wrong? I must have a different translation. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet and did a few service projects. So I prophesied. And breath entered them, they came to life and stood up on their feet. A vast army. The breath of God has entered you for a reason, to be an army for God. We're not building an audience at New Hope Church. We're building an army. We got stuff to do. We got people to reach. We got a city to change. I am not interested in good church services. I'm interested in being an army. Woo! Come on, everybody on your feet. Let's just, if you're in for a bones day for God, to say, God, whatever you want me to do, I'm in. I will serve you. I will do whatever you say, whether I feel like it or not. Sign me up. 